Welcome to Art Expression for Stress Release and Self-Reflection. My name is Kimberly Griffiths, and I am a counselor and an art therapist in Colorado Springs. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you will enjoy being creative with me today. This project is designed to help you release tension, relax, and have some fun. It's super easy to do, and it should only take you about an hour to an hour and a half to complete. Today's project will be process painting. But before we get started, I'd like to take you through a short relaxation exercise that's designed to help bring you to a place of calmness and bring you fully into the moment. So please find a place to sit where you're comfortable, where your back can be straight, either in a chair or on the couch, and sit comfortably with your arms and your feet uncrossed, and just take some nice, full, deep breaths. Close your eyes and feel yourself breathing in to the count of four and out to the count of four. Breathing in and breathing out. And let's do that just a couple more times. Feel yourself sinking into the chair or letting the back of the chair fully hold you. Bring your focus to the top of your head and slowly move down your body, making sure that with your breath, you're relaxing and releasing any tension or any tightness that you might find. Be sure to move your shoulders back and down, opening up your chest so that you can breathe easily. Allow your arms to relax from your shoulders all the way down to your fingers. Keep breathing naturally and slowly, feeling your breath moving down your back into your hips, and then relaxing all the way from the top of your legs, all the way down past your knees to your feet and your toes. Now breathe naturally as I take you through a little journey. Imagine that you are a candle sitting in a hot, sunny window. As the rays of the sunshine beat down on you, feel yourself begin to melt. Imagine that your concerns and tensions are dropping away as droplets of wax roll down the side of the candle. Feel yourself melting into a state of soft, deep relaxation. Let go and give in to the warmth of the sun and the inevitability of your melting as you release all mental and bodily tension and sink into a state of soft, deep relaxation. Now bring your attention back to your breathing noticing your natural flow of breathing in and out. And as we move through the, our art experience today, if you start to feel any tension or tightness in your body, please bring your attention back to your breath and allow yourself to stay fully present in the experience. Our focus today is on letting go of control and allowing the process of using the art materials to open us up to creating the unexpected and the unpredictable. Imagine if we could live every day with this in mind. Now again, bring your attention back to your breathing, breathing in and breathing out. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Welcome back. I hope that helped to release anything that might be going on with you at the moment. This project, as I mentioned, called Process Painting, is really about 
letting yourself just dive into using paint and being attracted to various colors and without thinking about it, just using those colors in whatever way feels appropriate to you. So here's a sample of something that I did recently. And it, to me, it represented the feeling of relaxation and letting go. For you, it'll probably be something totally different and unique to you. So what you'll need today is either a canvas board. I have a 12 inch by 12 inch size and a canvas board is just a simple gessoed board. It's also possible to use what's called a wrapped canvas that has staples on the back. And you can use a variety of different sizes, whatever feels right to you or whatever you find in the store. I bought this packet of canvases, canvas boards at Walmart, and this whole pack was less than $5. So you can buy some, find some products, uh, some pieces of materials that are inexpensive and easy to use. Today I'm going to use the wrapped canvas. And basically, just going to put this down right in front of myself on a table. It's good to put some newspaper or maybe some plastic down to protect the surface that you're working on. And without thinking too much, I'm just going to choose some of the paint colors that I feel attracted to today. I'll we'll kind of get to that in a minute. I did want to point out, though, that also at Walmart, you can find little packages of acrylic paint that are also very inexpensive. This group of 12 was about $3. It also comes with a really small brush. That's too small to use for today. But Walmart also has packages of three that have a variety of different widths. I like to use a flat brush when I'm doing a project like this. And I think I'm just going to go with the largest one, which is about a half of an inch today. You can also get containers of paint that come in little bottles. And what I like to use as a palette to put my paint on normally is a paper plate. I can just throw this whole thing away when I'm finished and not have to worry about putting the paint back into the containers or put this down the sink. It's usually a good idea not to try to put paint down your regular sink. If you have an art type of sink, that's okay. But using the paper plate is so much easier. You just roll it up and put it in your trash can. You're also going to need some water for your brush. And I like to keep some paper towels close by. So I also found these little containers with lids, and I put some paint in there to just make it easy for today. So I'm going to go ahead and just use these. Move these over here. And what I'm most attracted to today, I think, is something like pink. So I'm going to start out with some pink. And again, my goal is to not think too much about what I'm doing. I'm just going to start putting some color down. Whatever shape or line feels right to me. I'm going to grab some orange and mix it in there. Fun thing about acrylic paint is that you can layer your colors or mix them very easily, but you can also use watercolor. <clears throat> It's just that the color won't be quite as robust as with an acrylic. And there are many, many different kinds of acrylic paint, so no need to get anything really expensive. I'm going to pull in some purple. Just feels whimsical and comfortable. And then I'm just going to maybe pull in some of that orange again and just play around with different layering techniques. And as you can see, the paint starts to blend a little bit. 
And that's okay. Now, if you start to use too many colors, it will start to get sort of muddy in its tone. So you want to keep it relatively simple in your choices. And if you do want to layer, it's a good idea to let the paint dry before you use too many different layers. And I like to use a hair dryer. I keep one handy at my studio and I might dry one level before I put another one on. Don't need that today. I'll add a little red. That feels fun. So again, I'm not trying to create a landscape or something that has a recognizable image to it. I'm basically just going to play with the color and see what feels right. So that's the essence of this whole project, is really just to play with paint. When you're finished, you do end up with something that you really like. You might actually end up framing this and putting it in your home. You can do a series of different colors using uh, different sizes and make a collage on your wall. These are really fun projects to also do with your family members as well. So I hope that you enjoy this process and let yourself use the paint to relax, be fully in the moment and forget about, forget about anything that might be going on that's stressful in your life. I think you'll be surprised how fast the time can go. So that's it for today. This is basically not quite done, but almost. But I really enjoyed painting with you today. I hope you enjoyed it too, and I'll look forward to seeing you again. So now that you've had a chance to complete your process painting, I'd like you to take a moment to reflect on this question. During the guided meditation, what thoughts or feelings came to your awareness? How are these reflected in your painting? So please take some time to think about that and write down your answer as thoroughly as possible. I'd like to acknowledge and thank Bemis School of Art and the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center for allowing us to spend time together. Thanks so much and we'll see you again.